Thank you, Ms. Lobby. May I now request the Secretary, Department of Agricultural Research and Education and DGICAR, Dr. S. Ayapam, to please address the congregation. Respected Chief Guest, Honorable President of India, Honorable Union Minister of Agriculture and Food Processing Industries, Sri Sharad Paur Sahab, Honored Guest, Dr. Jeannie Bollock, Chair of the Bollock Global Rust Initiative, Dr. Rani Kaufman, Vice Chair, BGRI, Sri Ashish Bhaguna, Secretary of the Department of Agriculture and Cooperation, Government of India, Dr. Sopan Dutta, Deputy Director General, Indian Council of Agricultural Research, Distinguished uh, Directors General from different CG centers, researchers and colleagues from institutions, both national and international, officials from central and state departments of agriculture, farmer friends, delegates, invitees, members of the press and media, ladies and gentlemen. I add my words of welcome and greetings on this occasion. Sir, we are fortunate to have a meeting of we trust scientists from 45 countries of the world gathered in New Delhi in 2008 when the father of Green Revolution, Nobel laureate, Dr. Norman Borlaug, gave a live televised message on strategies to beat menace of rust. It is most appropriate that the present BGRA conference is being held here when we are commemorating 50 years of his first visit to India for the whole of this week. Indian agricultural research owes so much to Dr. Norman Borlaug a researcher without borders, that ICR feels itself a natural partner of BGRI and looks forward to celebrating Borlaug's centenary next year. Wheat, accounting for 29% of the global food product, grain production, provides 20% of all food calories in the world and to the same level, the protein in developing countries. In India, with an annual production of 94 plus million tons, the Indian share of global wheat production has been steadily increasing from over 10% in 2005 to over 14% in 2012. And the success comes from a well-organized system of breeding for rust resistance and evaluation of new varieties through a multidisciplinary All India Coordinated Wheat Improvement Program. As we all know, wheat cultivation in the Indian subcontinent dates back to Harappa, Mohenjo-daro times. I must mention here, in 1905, Dr. Albert Howard initiated wheat breeding program at the Agriculture Research Institute at Pusa to release NP10 as the first improved variety, followed by NP4, acclaimed as the best quality wheat then in the world. India has the recognition of launching the first plant breeding program for disease resistance through the establishment of a wheat breeding program for rust resistance at Shimla in Himachal Pradesh, the focus of rust infection in 1928. India also has the credit of developing the first variety NP809 resistant to all the three rusts in early 1940s. Since then, Indian wheat research has expanded to more than 155 testing sites from 45 research institutions in the country, coordinated by the Directorate of Wheat Research at Karnal. BGRI has added great strength to this program by testing the Indian elite material in Kenya and Ethiopia for their resistance to race UG99 of stem rust. The strategy of gene deployment working perfectly in India for various rusts and their biotypes in the six agroecological zones deserves a special mention. Seven rough rust resistant genes, seven leaf rust resistant genes, 10 stem rust resistance that the SR genes and four yellow rust that we are very familiar with, yellow rust resistant genes have been deployed to different varieties to counter the rust menace in India. New varieties have also been developed with minor genes and pyramided genes using the marker-assisted selection approach in a national network mode. As we all know again, the demand for wheat is expected to increase by 40% of the current level by 2020 and 70% by 2050. It's therefore imminent to enhance sharing of lines and the number of testing sites with accelerated wheat improvement programs. New tools of markers and genomic resources need to be effectively utilized for appropriate gene deployment strategies. Rapid detection and reporting, virulence monitoring, multi-site performance evaluation, and also the information exchange has become very critical, have become critical and need greater emphasis. In this context, larger international networking for research and shuttling of promising lines for exposure to variants of virulence over multiple sites will be an extremely good option. I'm happy to inform you, sir, both the BGRI and ICR are working towards adopting this strategy 
and provide international leadership to the wheat research community and the gathering today is a witness to that approach. We look forward at this time to a comprehensive, a robust and synergized approach to rust management for providing the much needed food and nutrition security and we would like to thank all colleagues from all over the world here for joining hands for in this noble cause. Once again, welcome to you and thank you very much.